Hey guys, my name is Hannah Brewer Jensen and I live in the Cape Fear River Basin, which is the basin we are currently in. And I'd like to introduce you to Sadie the Cow. A lot of you guys met her a few weekends ago um, while we were in Saxapaha um, on the farm tour at Suzanne Nelson's farm. And I'm pretty sure that everybody really enjoyed meeting her and her fellow um, farm animals. I know I did. But for me, she was not only super cute and sweet, but she was a sort of revelation. Um, earlier in the semester, we had to pick projects to do for throughout the semester, and it's kind of daunting to, you know, decide to do something, this big research thing, something that has to do with the Cape Fear River Basin. Um, but I knew that I needed to include art in my project, and I love drawing nature, so I thought, well, I could use the, all the pictures that I take on my field trips for um, inspiration for these drawings. But other than that, I didn't know if there was any kind of a deeper, deeper purpose um, for my art, but I knew I was onto something. And I mean, after all, drawing nature scenes is nice, right, to look at at least. Um, so I began researching some artists in the Cape Fear River Basin. And the first guy I looked at, um, Andy Wood, we actually met him on our trip to Wilmington, North Carolina. And he is an ecologist and environmental educator. And he also does these radio commentaries. So I listened to one of them. And it was about, he was digging in the dirt and he sees this little white egg case and he thinks, oh, it's probably a lizard egg case because he had seen a lizard earlier the day earlier in that day and he was thinking about it and just kind of you know pondering it and he was kind of surprised to find that actually this egg case belonged to a spider and it was attached. Um, so his kind of main point was that we often are biased in the ways that we look at nature and in order to see truthfully we need to look at what is literally before our eyes instead of trying to interpret nature for how we want to see it. So I thought that was kind of an interesting um, take. In contrast, Ruth Ananda, who is an Orange County artist, which is just a count, couple counties over from Guilford County, um, she does these beautiful bird paintings and uses pattern and color to sort of represent nature. And her, this group of works is called The Field and the Knower of the Field. And I thought that was really interesting, um, sort of implying that we can look at nature, but we can also learn about it and interpret it and understand it more deeply than what we're just seeing. So that was kind of a more interpretive, um, interpretive way of viewing nature. And then Clyde Jones, who lives in Bynum, North Carolina, he uses these really rough cut logs to create sort of ambiguous animals and we don't know what they are exactly but we can tell that they're both literally structures of logs but then he creates these sort of meanings um, and lives out of the logs and by gluing on fake flowers for eyeballs or painting them with polka dots or things like that and so I processed all of these different views of um, the nature and things and started thinking also about the field trips that we'd been going on throughout the semester. And it was interesting because I, um, I noticed a theme. And the theme was that whenever I learned about whatever it was about the environment, I always got really excited when I was actually there looking at whatever I was learning about. And the first field, one of the first field trips we went on was to Townsend Water Treatment Plant. And it was really cool to actually go out on the dam. We're kind of like right on the edge of the dam here. And to learn that weir dams, which are kind of these pointy structures, are a lot stronger and can hold water better than the dams that are flat and straight across. And that sort of got me thinking about how powerful and amazing water is and how we have to create these monstrous structures to kind of rein in 
this force that we try to control but doesn't always work. But I really cared about it and I, I saw how relevant it was as um, this dam is damming up water in Lake Townsend that we use to drink in Greensboro. One of our assignments for the class was to walk to Target through the Guilford College stream and try to only walk in the stream bed and it was definitely a challenge. Um, but walking through the sticky mud and bushwhacking through all this underbrush, it was kind of fun. And it was a little sad too because I felt like our stream is really neglected and sort of dirty and nobody really seems to care about it. But there were these small patches of beauty like um, cardinal flower that I saw growing just lo one lonesome plant on the bank. And it's just amazing how though we can have these sort of sad looking places, nature always takes back the place and revives itself and there's always some beautiful gift and of life in wherever it is. Also we took a canoe trip down the Cape Fear River and it was so neat to just exist on the river for several days and camp. I, I slept with a few other people. We slept out under the stars a couple nights and just feeling the ground in your back and seeing the stars above you when you woke up at night. It was just amazing. And drinking, we filtered water um, to drink the second day because we were kind of running low. And just those kind of experiences really made me realize how important our place is. We rely so much on it, but yet normally we don't realize how connected we are. But this was definitely a, an eye-opening experience. And then finally our farm tour at Suzanne's farm. I was of course excited to go, but actually standing on her land, watching her relationship with her animals made me automatically just love her land because I could see these beautiful relationships being cultivated and they both Suzanne and her animals rely on this land for their living and that was just a really powerful moment for me and I can't even express all the joy I felt on that day. So I began looking at these artists and these trips and I, the theme I noticed was that I needed a physical relationship with the land I was on to connect or the people to connect with the place. And my purpose in my artistic endeavor came into focus. My purpose was to, well I finally was able to grasp that my drawing of these beautiful scenes from nature was my way of sharing my experiences with everybody else. And I guess I'd sort of known that all along, but to be able to finally realize it was very rewarding and it got me really excited about this shared experience. And I really just want to be able to inspire other people to go out and have some experiences themselves and connect with the land and the people and um, the lives that we all share here in the Cape Fear River Basin. So you can, I mean it's both literal, like we can see these beautiful places around us, but it's also um, something that we need to interpret. Something that we need to find the beauty as it applies to each individual person. And Maya keeps reiterating this quote and she has throughout the semester. The place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. And I've definitely found my deep gladness, which is drawing nature. And there's so much need right here in the Cape Fear River Basin just to understand and for us to connect better so that we know how we impact our place and how our place basically is our lives. And um, during our, I mean, now we're kind of culminating all of our projects and turning them in and being glad that we're finally done with all this work. 
but the exciting thing for me about my project is that it's just the beginning. I've done four pictures and there's, it's satisfying to be able to finally put these pictures up and say I've done this and I've had these experiences um, and but the exciting thing is that I can keep there's so many more beautiful things to beautiful places and experiences that need to be expressed so this is really an ongoing project and just like the river keeps flowing and life keeps um, giving and existing in this place this project is sort of a, a never-ending beautiful thing um, and we need to understand like what we put in our river will affect our water supply our our water our drinking supply at Lake Townsend and whatever goes into that lake we drink but also flows out of the dam and will go down river to the Saxapaha and places like that and Sadie and her friends will be eating the grass by which the river flows and whatever nutrients are in that grass will um, help give nutrients to her milk and we drink her milk and so whatever is in there affects us essentially and whatever waste she produces will either fertilize the land or it will go down river depending on how Suzanne handles the farm so we're really all very connected and we could do a lot better in realizing that and I think the way to do that is by cultivating physical relationships with our place. Sadie the cow led me home she kind of she was the one who got me to realize that physical um, relationships were what I needed but I think what we all need and that also that I need to be here in this place since I have spent my whole life in this river basin I'm deeply invested and I know and I understand but I could learn and understand much more but hopefully my artistic endeavor will inspire you all to go out and create those physical relationships with beautiful places in nature and maybe a cow won't be the one to leave you home but hopefully something will thank you